We have to start with that breaking news from the Middle East. This morning, a rocket fired from Gaza has reportedly killed two people in southern Israel. It comes as the U.S. is trying to step in to stop the escalating crisis. On Monday, President Biden called Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu to personally express his support for a ceasefire. But this morning, Israel is keeping up its efforts to crush Hamas militants. Palestinians are observing a general strike and protesting Israel's operations. NBC's chief foreign correspondent Richard Engel is on the West Bank. Richard, tell us about the situation there. So here in the West Bank, we are on the outskirts of Ramallah. Palestinians have come out to protest and also to clash with Israeli soldiers, and they are expressing solidarity with the people of Gaza. What's interesting here is these are not all Hamas supporters. This is not traditionally a Hamas stronghold. Uh, there are other Palestinian factions that hold sway, uh, factions that hold sway here. But all of the different Palestinian factions are coming together uh, right now. And the reason I'm looking around is uh, we are trying to see if there is tear gas coming from uh, the Israeli soldiers right now. You might be able to see there is a drone up in the sky, and uh, that drone is either, uh, it's an Israeli drone, it is either taking photographs of us, or it could drop tear gas. Uh, it is something that the Israelis do quite a bit. Instead of launching tear gas, they will fly a, a, a drone and then drop it into the crowds. It sounds like the Israelis, uh, the Palestinians are trying to fire fireworks to disrupt or confuse the, the drone. But that, that is what we're seeing here. There have been volleys of, of tear gas, and everyone is running from me, so we can hold it here for a second. But uh, this is all just fireworks at the moment, but it might inspire the Israelis to launch a whole uh, volley of tear gas. But the reason uh, what is happening here is because of Gaza. It's almost like the 4th of July here all of a sudden. And it is not just here in the West Bank. Also, in, uh, uh, within Israel itself, Palestinians with Israeli citizenship are holding a strike. And in Jerusalem, Palestinians are on a strike. So this, this movement in Gaza, the attack against Gaza, has created a degree of solidarity among Palestinians, even if they don't support Hamas as a, as a political party, as a militant group. Hamas is still firing rockets into Israel. There were more rockets fired this morning. There had been about a six-hour pause in which Hamas did not fire rockets, but they resumed again this morning. And according to Israeli medical officials, at least two Israeli soldiers were killed. And it does seem like those were just fireworks trying to disrupt this drone. It caused some people to scatter here. Uh, the next step will be, uh, will the Israelis uh, fire tear gas and, and, and really disperse these crowds? And the drone is now of us. I have a feeling it is just it is just taking our pictures, but we will see. Richard, do you feel safe where you are? It doesn't look safe. Uh, These the situations are, 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 are fluid. Uh, I've, I've covered a lot of these kind of demonstrations and you know you come prepared you have a helmet and gas mask and and you are uh, always keeping your eyes open and the biggest thing you want to be concerned about is live ammunition uh, that is uh, what you really want to be afraid of and those cracks could potentially be that uh, now on the hill, the Israelis are taking cover. They are pulling back. So it could very well be that someone, not sure where, is firing live ammunition. That would be a significant escalation. Uh, the Israelis respond uh, very aggressively when they are uh, fired on with live ammunition. So we are moving back. Uh, and, and you can see the Palestinians are celebrating because Whatever that was, those, those crackles in the distance that, that sounded like it could have been live ammunition, uh, got those Israelis on the hillside, the ones who've been flying that drone and uh, throwing in the tear gas, it got them to take cover behind the hill. But I have seen enough of these lo long enough. The Israelis have not retreated very far. Uh, they are just pulled back behind that hill, and I suspect they will uh, be, be responding here with, uh, with quite a bit of tear gas. But the Palestinians are celebrating the most minor of their victories. They got the Israelis to push back, and now they are coming back on the, on the streets. So it is, a, it is a fluid dynamic that has played out quite a bit uh, in the West Bank. But what's different this time is it is playing out in the West Bank in solidarity with 
Hamas in solidarity with the people of Gaza. And, uh, and that is something that doesn't often happen. The Palestinians aren't always united here. So they are hoping that they are starting something of a movement against Israel. But is this a civilian movement? Because you don't look like you're surrounded by any organized effort. It looks like civilians. Could you just repeat that? Is this an organized effort, or are you surrounded by civilians, Palestinian civilians? Oh, no, no. We are definitely seeing civilians. There have been uh, families that have come out here. There have been families with their children on swings. Uh, I spoke to a woman who brought her eight-year-old daughter here knowing that this is a volatile uh, situation because she said she wanted her daughter to learn that this is the struggle that she was born into, that this, uh, she said, is Palestinian land, that this is the homeland, and she wanted the next generation to come. So, yes, there are all kinds of different people here, and, and it is not organized, as you say. There are no buses uh, here that have brought in these protesters. We're on the outskirts of Ramallah. These are people who just uh, were able to, to walk here and come themselves, and they represent a, a, a broad cross-section of, of Palestinian society. All right, Richard, I could talk to you all day, but I know you need to take a break, find some shelter. Please stay safe, but stay close and keep us up. Our own Richard Engel. Stunning, yes. stunning. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. You should know that you can follow today's top stories and breaking news and catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.